Hey, it's Gordon Vanderpool from Turning Stones Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie up a little thread-bodied mayfly nymph I call the Dirty Bone. Been fishing this fly for a long time and it's been awesome. It's a little dark sulfur imitation. You can tie it in different colors for a little blue wing, short stocky little bug. Um, when the sulfurs are getting ready to hatch and them wing cases are really black, it's good to put a little black wing case on this. But other than that, it's good this way. And that's why I'm going to tie it, just the plain version. Start with the hook. We got a, We got an Umqua C260BL in there. A little short nymph hook, Vivas 16 knot brown thread. Let's spin it up. Got a 2.5 gold tungsten bead on there too. All right, let's wrap him down. Man, this fly I love, 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 love. Okay, for the new guys, we're gonna wrap down to right where that starts to bend. And put a little tail in. Cocktail is what we're going to use. Make sure all them tips are right. Lay it there and it loose and then the tension should wrap it up on there. Put a couple wraps. It's a little longer than I want so I'm going to slide it back a pinch. Still a little long. There we go. Now we're cooking. Okay, I'm gonna hold it there. I'm gonna do this small gold wire. It's gonna be the rib. And I'll put this in there as well. Wrap that all up together. Keeps everything nice and tidy. And I am gonna do a little, little bit of a taper on this, so that builds up a little bulk, less I got to do with the thread. Okay, so now we're going to start that little taper. So first I'm going to wrap back, and I'm going to do wrap side by side to cover up any of that gold wire that's down underneath there, if I can. I'm going to try not to let any of that bleed through. It's probably not life or death, but I've always tried to cover it. Okay, so slight taper. I'm not going to taper it all the way up. I'm going to leave a little gap behind the bead, room for the dubbing. Doesn't have to be much of a taper, just enough to give it a little bit more bulk. These little sulfurs, little blue wings, whatever color you want to tie this for, they're stocky little mayflies. So I think having that little bit of a taper helps. You know, it's a silhouette. Makes it look closer to what we're actually trying to imitate. Okay, so I'm going to slide that over on Thread Keeper. I'm going to use my uh, rotary feature. Slide it up. I always try to keep these wraps pretty uniform if I can. Side by side the best I can. And that's that. Get this, wind it up, and tie it off. I always use an extra pair of shears for this. That way I don't dull the good ones. For this I always like to put on a little super glue help protect that wire. This thing will get ate up. Uh oh, got some up there right at one put it. Gotta clean that out real quick. I don't want it up in that gap. Okay. That'll help give that fly some stability once he's got to start munching on it. Okay, the dub. Just a dark brown dub I blend up. It's a rabbit base with some other synthetics in there. Give it a little kick. Not too much dub here. This isn't a big bug. It's, you know, 14 through 18. This is a 14, but it's really a short, short nymph hook. Not much to these things. So you don't want to overdo it. Wrap it right behind there. Oh, it's starting to get loose on me, so I'm going to tight, tighten that up with another spin. That's it. Sometimes I bug out these thoraxes. This one I don't. I just kind of let it do its own thing. Once they munch on it a bit, it will 
bug out some, but this, I keep it a little bit more tight and compact for this one. Okay, that's it, man. That's the dirty bone. Some of my friends, my good buddy Paul, he knows of this bug. Been a good one over the years. He can back its production. Good fly. Hope you enjoy this thing. Play around with it. Let me know what you think. Appreciate all the support I'm getting, folks. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. Lots more good stuff coming, some tips coming, and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching. Have a good day, peeps. See ya.